Hello everyone, my name is uh, Ma Sandesh Pare. I am currently working as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. And uh, in this video, we are going to focus on the variables in the Python. Okay. So before going to start the implementation regarding the Python, uh, we'll check the first what is the outcome of this session. Okay. So at the end of this video, okay, you will be able to use different types of the variables in the program. Okay. So let's start to implement the variables. Okay. Uh, generally, x is the variable. Let's say, and uh, we will give one uh, value to this one. Okay. Let's say x is equal to two. Right. It worked. Okay. No output of this one because it is the assignment operator. The value is assigned to it. If you want to check the contents of the x, then you have to just write x and you have to press enter. The value is displayed here. Okay. And uh, again, any operation regarding the variables, if you want to perform, then you may do it. X plus three. Let's say, then it will give you the value five. Okay. And uh, I will use the second variable that is y is equal to 3 here. Okay. It is also working. So, contents of y is uh, 3. And now I just want to add this both variables that is x plus y. So, the value is 5. Okay. In this fashion, the variables get added here and the result is displayed. So, in this fashion, variables are used here, and uh, as we have discussed earlier, that uh, Python is uh, a robust one. Okay, it means uh, we don't need to specify the data type of the variable here. Okay, so based on the value which is assigned to this, okay, it will understood the automatically that what is the data type of the variable, right? So. And again, I just want to tell you here one special thing that uh, suppose five is our recent output. Okay, if you want to use this one, okay, and uh, if you want to add the contents of the y to the result recent output, okay. So what you have to do is that you have to just use the underscore operator. Underscore will give you the last output generated. Okay, let's say plus y. Okay, so as you can see, the output is eight. So five plus three is eight. So in this fashion, you can use the underscore to access the last generated output. Okay, uh, x and y are now defined, so that's why it is working properly. Let's say z. Okay, it is not defined yet. Okay, if you want to try to access the contents of z, if you want to display the contents of z, so as you can see, the error is arise here because it is not defined yet. Okay. So this is happen regarding the variable. Uh, now we are storing the integer type of data in the variable. So we'll change this one. Okay, we'll ch assign the string values to the variables now. Okay, let's say the variable name. Okay, name is equal to let's say values YouTube. Okay, let's say YouTube. Right name is equal to youtube and it is working totally fine no problem in that one so let's say i just want to uh, append one more string to this variable okay so for that uh, you have to use the plus operator there okay so let's say name okay plus let's say youtube rocks okay so yes as you can see it get appended there okay the but the value of the name is youtube only okay you can cross verify it okay so don't get confused between that and uh, that plus operator is very important without that uh, it will not work if you want to check it uh, then i will show you the demo that uh, i will remove the plus operator okay we'll simply write this like like that okay so invalid syntax okay that plus operator is very important uh, otherwise it will not uh, perform the concatenation there okay and uh, again i just want to tell you that uh, indexing concept is used here okay this uh, variable is now containing the string it means it is the uh, sequence of the characters right so the indexing technique is used to particularly access one of the character from that string there okay 
so for that let's say uh, suppose name of uh, six okay so as you can see the letter e is displayed here because it is the last index right zero to six total seven letters are there in the youtube so it is uh, written here and uh, again if you want to uh, provide the negative index value okay it is also working so if uh, suppose let's say name of minus two, right? So B is the output because uh, when you pass the negative number as the index, so it started traversing from the end in the reverse fashion, okay? And it start from the minus one, okay? E is the minus one, so and uh, B is the minus two, okay? And uh, one more thing is that you can pass the uh, range also, okay? In the indexing okay let's say name of uh, okay zero let's say three okay so first is the uh, starting index of the substring okay that is zero and uh, three is the ending index and it will exclude it okay just keep in mind that uh, when you will start it will be included but when you will ending index is there it will be excluded okay zero one two these three index values are written there that is y o u okay third index is excluded just keep in mind don't get confused between these two okay and uh, suppose uh, you have passed now the seven letters are there in the youtube and uh, that was zero to six index values are there what will happen if you pass the particular out of range value as the term here okay so let's say it so it will arise the index error okay so you have to pass this in between the range okay so there is one question for you guys that uh, what is the operator which is used to fetch which is lastly generated output in the python programming language just think about it and answer so the answer is the underscore operator as we have seen in the integer addition okay the underscore operator is used uh, to fetch the last result which is generated by the python programming language okay and based on that you can perform the any further operations okay so let's move to the python again uh, now we are using the range as the indexing here and uh, what will happen if you did not specify the ending of this range here okay let's say uh, name of uh, right i will start the i will mention the start but i will not mention the end here okay then it will go up to the end of the main string right so again in the reverse fashion uh, if you did not mention the starting of the range okay suppose let's say 3 then it will start from the beginning of the string okay by defaultly and uh, it will go up to the whatever the ending index provided there but it will exclude that index just keep in mind i am just repeating that instruction again and again okay and uh, what will happen okay if particular uh, index is out of range there okay means while specifying the range okay let's say name of uh, suppose it will starting from the 3 okay but it will end at the 10 suppose let's say but the actual index is up to the 6 there okay 0 to 6 i will specify 10 here and uh, let's check what is the output of this one so as you can see the output is displayed here so no any error is arised here mm, but the traversal is goes to end of the string and it will terminate there automatically okay and uh, i just want to tell you that uh, these variables what you are using that string integer okay these are immutable okay so if you uh, assign it one times though you can't make any changes to them 
okay so let's say uh, instead of the youtube i just want to make it the mautube okay so i will remove the uh, otherwise i will say i will or write the y to the m okay instead of y i just want m there so i want to make it mautube so i will try name of uh, zero okay as the y is at the zeroth index name of zero let's assign m here okay to this name of zero so let's check uh, it is working or not as you can see the error is arised here because a string object does not support item assignment because it is immutable so once you have created it once you have uh, defined it you can't make any further changes in this one okay so that's why it is called as the immutable okay and uh, one more function that is uh, so let's say if you want to find the length of that particular string okay then there are uh, some inbuilt methods are given just like the name and uh, length of name okay you just want to find the length of name here so as you can see the output is 7 okay so the likewise uh, some inbuilt methods are provided here to get various uh, outputs related to these variables okay and uh, yeah this is related the variables and uh, these are some references i used to make these videos thank you